Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabi and today, today we're gonna find out if Roja Essence du Parfum, the entire collection, it's worth the price tag, it's worth your money and it's worth trying at least. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's jump in. I'm gonna start from my favorite to my least favorite. This is the presentation for all of their perfumes. They are all 100 ml and ta -da! this is the beautiful bottle. Trust me, in reality, those bottles are just stunning, gorgeous. Um, I used to see them in videos, I was like, and eh, they're nice. No, no, no. In reality, they're just stunning. My favorite from the entire collection is Reckless. This one I purchased with my own money, loved it. It's very similar to, let me spray it here. It's very similar to Killian Love Don't Be Shy, but I would say this one is not as sweet as Love Don't Be Shy. This one is more, it's fresher, a not citrusy, but it's definitely fresher, more appropriate for the summertime. You can, you if you like, if you love Love Don't Be Shy, you're absolutely gonna adore this, especially in the summer. That was um, the reason why I bought this one. Love Don't Be Shy, I'm wearing in spring, fall, this one in the summer, it's absolutely stunning. It's the lighter and definitely more refined version of Love Don't Be Shy. I, I adore it. I adore it. I bought it. It's so good. It's so, so good. This one doesn't have orange blossom. It has Neroli instead. I think it has some mandarin orange, some just like blood orange or something like that. It's definitely a bit more uh, orangey than Love Don't Be Shy. It doesn't have that sweet, super sweet gourmand quality. But again, that can be too much in the heat. That can be too much for some people because I know that some people were complaining that Love Don't Be Shy is too sweet. This is just perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it has a glassy power on me. Uh, it's not wow, but it's like it was good. I could, I could still smell it after like six hours nothing to complain especially for a summer scent it's not beast mode but i don't want my summer scent to be beast, beast mode so i really cannot complain love the bottle absolutely adore the juice and yeah first one we have reckless my second favorite is 51 again i purchased this one with my own money because i absolutely adored it um uh, when i got reckless i actually got a sample kit so i, I was able to test all of them and this is so good if you like ilang in your perfumes but not that ilang that is getting um, maybe suntan lotion or that ilang that it has that banana touch you're gonna love this for me is this beautiful sweet ilang a little a little bit powdery and with some other fruity like touches in there. It's so feminine. It's so good. I, I just adore it. It's so good. This one, comparing to Reckless, I couldn't really smell it that much after like five hours. I would say Reckless, like it was there. I didn't have to put my nose um, closer to my skin. Like it was there. I was able to smell it. But this is... I think it's just because it's a bit powdery and usually powdery scents tend to stay closer to your skin and I get that. I don't think that powdery scents should project that much. I know this is just my opinion but I absolutely adore this. It's so good. If you like Ylang, if you love Ylang, this is not just about the Ylang, it's like a powdery, fruity, feminine, not too sweet. It's, it, it's just so good. Like absolutely love it. That's why I bought it. So. My second favorite is 51. Let's move on to a perfume that I really wanted to buy when I tested uh, the sample, but I didn't buy it just because I want to buy a flanker of it. And I'm talking about Enigma. Uh, all of these, the ones I'm gonna show you from now were sent to me uh, very kindly from Roja Parfa. Uh, obviously I bought from them before, so it's not just me saying, oh, I love all of them. No, there are some that I don't really like, but with this tonic, I wanted to buy this. Enigma. Enigma. Enigma is very, is very hard to describe because maybe some rose, maybe again something powdery, sweet. It's definitely sweeter than 
51 but it's so feminine and so elegant I, I was planning to buy this one but then I got a sample of Enigma Awood and that one just stole my heart and that's the only reason why I didn't buy this one but I was planning to buy this one but I said you know I don't need two of them I don't need the Essence Enigma and then Enigma Awood I'm gonna go with Enigma Awood probably I'm gonna buy it this month next month stunning stunning that one is absolutely amazing for the fall and winter but this one just all year round it's it's again it's very hard to to, to explain this thing because everything you're gonna see i'm gonna put the notes on on the screen you're gonna see they have so many notes okay they're so well blended it's just like a mix of everything but somehow it smells amazing this performs same as 51 i would say like five hours you can smell it after five hours is like getting very close to the skin but i don't mind that because again it has a powdery touch it has a powdery touch and for me personally i think powdery perfume should stay a little bit closer to the skin but this is one that i actually want to buy and I'm, i didn't buy it just because i'm gonna get another one um, another enigma but it's it's beautiful it's stunning if you're looking for a very elegant feminine all year round check this one out it's beautiful enigma from roja another one that was kind of should i buy it should i not should i buy it should i not is danger now danger comparing to the other ones that are like soft and everyday appropriate <sighs> danger from roja is intoxicating especially in the opening especially for the first hour this one is compared to Samsara from Gerla and I have to agree yes it has that vibe it smells a bit vintagey but it smells like they took a vintage perfume and they made it they, they make it a uh, modern they made it like for 2021 it's uh, it's a floral scent but it's a very dark floral scent it has a little bit of a vintage quality but i don't mind that and if you know me i'm not into vintage perfumes i'm not into that that type of scent i'm not for me this is dark sexy but very classy in the same time and very elegant because i can see this one more on a mature woman <sighs> love it love it why i didn't buy it is I was thinking when I'm gonna wear this one because this is a type of scent that you're gonna wear to a restaurant you're gonna wear on a special occasion it's not your everyday at least for me it's not your everyday but it's very classy and it, again it has a touch of powdery I think all of them besides besides reckless they have a powdery touch <sighs> I love it I love it love it love it, it it's, not my, it's not it's not something that I usually love but it's good it's so good it's so so good it's it, it has a similar vibe to samsara okay and I, and I didn't like samsara i didn't i never had samsara i never planned to buy that perfume because i thought about it as i don't know pretty vintage pretty old school but this is the modern version of it this is the 2021 version of it and they're not dupes by any means i'm just saying it reminds me slightly of that perfume so uh the fourth i think it's the fourth um place we have a danger the next one elixir i think this one is very popular in the fragrance community and i understand why this is again powdery it has a peach note i can definitely smell the peach in this one enigma has a peach note as well but i cannot smell in that one in this i can smell like maybe some white flowers some peaches and then something powdery why i didn't buy this one i thought this one is a bit like too powdery for me um like with um what's the name danger and enigma i was I like i actually want to buy them i was like okay i'm not gonna buy them now but in the future i want to buy them with this i was kind of like mm, i'm not sure it's a very very sweet powdery fruity scent it's beautiful spring summer it's it's very beautiful i have too many perfumes that's the thing i have too many perfumes and that's why i was like mm, not really sure but i'm like super happy to have it because it's, it's stunning it's gorgeous this one is more like it's younger it's very fluffy i would say 
it has this like fluffy quality it's it's beautiful you need to test them you need to test them on your skin um you need to play with them to see exactly which one is for you but all of them i can tell you all of them they're very elegant and very feminine but with without being dated okay without smelling um i don't know too vintagey too mature too just danger just danger it's a bit more mature but all of the other ones are very like playful playful uh, elegant feminine type of scents really like this one really like this one i'm obviously so happy that i have in my collection now um yeah beautiful scent especially for the springtime i would say so elixir from roja obviously okay the next two perfumes um i have to tell you they're not my favorite and i'm gonna explain exactly why obviously i tested them before i had a sample kit and i knew from like the beginning that they're very nice but they're not for me first we have scandal or scandal let's say scandal scandal it's stunning in the dry down but in the opening it has gardenia uh this one has i think gardenia jasmine some tuberose the gardenia is very strong on my skin at least and i don't like gardenia like at all like at all the dry down is this sweet almost bubblegummy jasmine with tuberose it's so good like the dry down i absolutely love the dry down of this but the opening that gardenia stays there for like half an hour 20 minutes half an hour and i just it's just my personal like, preference i just don't like gardenia so that's my only issue with this it has gardenia i don't like gardenia yeah i, I can smell that like the sweetness of the like, jasmine and tuberose and they're like so sweet and so yummy that's so good if you like white flowers and if you don't mind gardenia you are absolutely gonna adore this it's not for me because like i said it has gardenia so um the fifth no sixth perfume uh, it's scandal and the last one that we have is risque this where should i spray this one do i have perfume here i don't think i have perfume here this one this one um opens up very very vintagey okay like very vintagey it's like a ship type of scent and it has this green quality i like the dry down i'm not crazy about the dry down the dry down is this green like green notes with some rose and maybe some patchouli in it but the opening i'm, I'm not i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of the opening it's very vintagey the dry down is nice the dry down don't get me wrong is nice and again it's getting slightly powdery i don't know how they did that because the opening you will never think like you will never think from the opening that this is getting powdery but it's just not for me like, it's not for me i think is too mature from my taste i think is I, I can wear this one in the winter okay i can wear this one in the winter time um but i just know that i'm not gonna like gravitate towards this one so yeah this mm, not my favorite i really like scandal but I have a problem with that gardenia and besides these two all of the other ones are just ah, stunning 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 so our last scent we have risque is it risque yeah i think you pronounce it risque from uh, roja top and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested any perfumes from roja parfa from the essence collection and like i told you i know that some were gifted to me but i also bought from them before and what i bought i absolutely adored and also the ones that were gifted to me uh, most of them i was already planning to buy them so that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye